Hello, and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're today, hope Grant, and always when you're old. Hello there, everybody. Uh, by the way, for the tube, I've had some dental work done this morning, so the left side of my face is uh, slightly numb still, so if I look a bit weird and talk a bit weird, that'll be why. But anyway, enough about that. What's today's video about? I hear you cry. Today's video, people the tube, is all about these things up here and these things down there. Sorry. That's a, a mad camera movements. Anyway, so let me talk to you about what's going on. So recently, I've been wanting to find replacements for my two main, well, two of my main pedals. Those pedals are the uh, Marshall Governor and the uh, Marshall Governor 2 Plus, should I say and the Golden Plexi by Tone City. Uh, the reason why I'm after replacements for these is because I like the Marshall Governor 2 Plus. It's my favorite distortion pedal, unbeaten. I don't think there'll be a pedal that will ever beat it for me. It's just the best distortion pedal I've ever used. I've had that one there that's on my board since 2007, and I just love it to bits, but Marshall don't make it anymore and you can find them uh, online you know you can but it's not easy uh, same with the Golden Plexi I like the Mark 1 Golden Plexi and a lot of them, the Golden Plexis out now are the Mark 2s which I don't actually particularly like they're alright but they're not for me so I was like right well if I'm going to go say, say I'm on say I'm doing a lot of gigs or I say I'm on tour, which I have never done in my life, but really want to. It's a dream of mine. And the governor or the golden plexi dies and I need to go to a guitar shop that day and, and get replacements. I was thinking, well, what, what, am, I, what am I going to do? Because, you know, you're not going to go to a guitar, you know, you're going to be very lucky to go to a guitar shop and find a Mark one golden plexi and, a, and a, a basically the, the Marshall governor two plus, you know, they're, they're not very common. Uh, anymore, sadly. Marshall, you remade the Governor Mark 1, Governor Mark 2, please, and all those pedals, they're amazing. Anyway, so I was thinking, well, that's a good point. What do I do? Because, like, you know, I, I like, I'm, I'm one of those people who thinks ahead and always catastrophizes and goes, right, that, that's the worst case scenario, what can I do? And I started thinking about, well, what can I, what, what, what you know, what do I want to use? And uh, I thought, well, boss pedals. Boss pedals are so easy to get hold of. They're in pretty much every guitar shop known to man. They have been forever, will be forever, because boss are boss. Um, and again, you know, I've, 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 I've used the DS2 forever. I, you know, I've used the DS1 a lot. I've, I love the delay pedals I've got. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to reach out to boss. I'm going to ask them if they'll indulge me and send me a few pedals to see if I can find in their line of pedals replacements for the Golden Plexi and the Marshall Governor. Now, there is going to be compromises. You know, no pedal's going to sound like Governor, no pedal's going to sound exactly like Golden Plexi. But, today's video, people of YouTube, we're going to find out how close we can get and see which ones work and which ones don't. So uh, I had a bit of a list that I sent to Boss and Boss very kindly, like I say, indulged me and sent me exactly what I asked for and uh, threw a fuzz pedal in on top of that as well. Boss, you are legendary people. So today, for YouTube, we're going to do a bit of a shootout kind of video. We're going to start off with a Golden Plexi. We're going to we're gonna go through these uh, Boss pedals up here, which I'll get to in a sec, and try and find a replacement for that. Thing with the Golden Plexi, the replacement for that, it has to work with the DS2 and the Ibanez, uh, the Ibanez Wah, which I'm using at this point in time. Has to work for that. And uh, has to be homogenous with all my other effects and has to be a pedal that I can just leave on and be happy with all the time. So quite a lot riding on that one. Same with the Marshall Governor replace, well, not replacement, but you know, well, it is a replacement. Um, it has to feel respond and sound right you know there's a lot riding on it so let's look at the boss pedals we've got so we have this is kind of like just the fun one basically but we'll we'll mess around with at the end i actually might leave out actually you know what? i'm going to leave this aside for another video uh because it's just a fuzz 
and uh, it's not it's not really part of it today. So these are the pedals we got. We got the Super Overdrive, the SD1, the Angry Driver, which was recommended to me actually by uh, Matt at Boss. Said try this one. Uh, the o OS2, which is an Overdrive distortion, and the Mega Distortion. So these four are uh, basically kind of what I have in mind to replace these two. Just because, like I say, if I'm somewhere where I can't get these two things, I need something that's readily available, and boss pedals are always readily available. It's the same reason why uh, Steve Vai, back in the day, uh, just used a DS1 to get his, get his sound, get his tone, because he, he basically said, like, you know, no matter where in the world, you can always get a DS1, because uh, boss pedals are everywhere, you know. So it makes sense. So... Without further ado, people on the tube, I'm going to get everything wired up and, and sorted like that. And um, the first thing we'll try is, uh, well, we'll start with the SD1. I think we'll start with the SD1. We'll just go in order of this. The Mega Distortion, I don't think is going to work for the, you know, that dirty, clean John Fashanti thing. But you never know. You never know. We'll find out. Also, like I say, they have to work with the DS2. Now, that's the challenge because the DS2, as we know, is a diva. And it has to sound a certain way for me. So anyway, enough waffle. Let's um, let's get these things ready to go and uh, get everything turned on. Mic, you know, get the mics ready and stuff like that, and uh, make some noise. I'm a little bit excited. Oh, we're doing people with tubes. So at this point in time, we have the Boss uh, Super Overdrive plugged in. So this is the Golden Plexi. <laughs> This is a super overdrive. You know what, that's nearly spot on already. We need more level. quite has the same bottom end of the golden plexi so the golden plexi is really round and full it doesn't but it still sounds good Much gain on that. So again, this is the Golden Plexi. Super Overdrive. Ah, oh, that's a bit good. Uh, I, I don't know if I, I, where the levels. Okay, so how I've got the Super Overdrive set at this point in time, people tube, is with the level all the way up, uh, I've got drive at three o'clock and tone is all the way off. Okay, I, I, I quite like it. It definitely isn't the same as the Golden Plexi. There's less bottom end in it. Uh, there isn't as much bass. But it's nice. I've turned the level down as well. So the level's at 3 o'clock, tone's all the way off, and drive is at 3 o'clock as well. How does it respond to the DS2? So this is the Golden Plexi with the DS2. <laughs> Really 
really smooth and nice. So how does the Super Overdrive do? <laughs> Sounds immense. I do apologize about my phone. Uh, I have everything all of a sudden. Everyone's trying to talk to me because I'm trying to do a video. Okay, so I really like the Super Overdrive. Super Overdrive is good at this point in time. We'll see if we can beat it. <laughs> It's definitely not as big. You can you can hear it's 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 lacking a lot in low end. Uh, the super overdrive is, but not the biggest issue. Uh, being a guitarist, you know, you don't need tons of low end. That's the bass player's job. So anyway, I'm going to change over now to. Uh, we'll try the overdrive distortion pedal now for the golden plexi. Let's see if that works. Okay, okay, here we go again, people. Tube. This is the golden plexi. We got the uh, OS2 now, the overdrive distortion. <laughs> There's a lot more level in this one. No, I don't think this is going to work. No, that's more of a distortion pedal. So that's not going to work. So, so far, uh, SD1 is the, the king on this one. So let's go to the next one, which is the Angry Driver. Uh, now, this one's got dual concentric dials. So this should be, this should be interesting, people, too, because this one's got a lot of dials. And, um, yeah, where do I even start? Well, we'll just start with the boss setting. I think we'll just stick to the boss setting and we'll try that one. So, next one up is the Angry Driver. The Overdrive Distortion didn't really work for that. Um, I don't think it'll work for much. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. That's a no for me. I'm going to actually eliminate that pedal from the uh, the competition, if you will. <laughs> it's just not my thing. So let's uh, go on to the Angry Driver. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so Angry Driver is plugged in. Again, reference point is Golden Plexi. <laughs> sound too loud too quiet trying to get levels is always the nightmare part of this still still very thin though um there's a lot of different settings here <laughs> So far, Super Overdrive still has it for me. The Angry Driver definitely works. I think that's going to be more distortion time for me. So I'm going to put that aside for distortion. And then we'll go on to the, the mega distortion. Um, I, just, I just need to know. I like lots of distortion. People do. So um, we'll take the Angry Driver off, put the mega distortion on, and then we'll come back to the Super Overdrive in a second. So... Give me a sec to change things over. Okay, I don't think this is going to work because it's a mega distortion, but you never know. So, Golden Plexi. <laughs> too, uh, too low on the vault, vault. Too much gain as well. No way is this going to work. sharp around the edges. It's got 
The thing I like about the Mega Distortion though is it's got a um, a tone dial, but it's also got a dial called bottom, and I'm not talking about Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson here. Uh, basically, it adds a lot of low end, and the reason I wanted this pedal, this was to replace the Governor if I needed to, because the Governor has a dial on it called deep, and basically what that does is it, it like gives it a massive low end, and uh, I like that. Not enough to get in the way of the bass player, it just fattens it up and it's very, very pleasant. That's pretty good though, I mean... say that and the super overdrive for this thing nailing it i'm just going to try something really quick with you this is the uh, mega distortion crank <laughs> That's it with a DS2. Oh. I nearly swore there. Okay, so far for me, the Mega Distortion and the Super Overdrive are just ace. Uh, the Angry Driver, jury's out. The Overdrive Distortion, I'm going to plug in again quickly off camera, but I don't think, it just, it just it was a bit waspy. So, so far, the Mega Distortion does a really good kind of like dirty clean Golden plexi -esque kind of John Fashanti thing, and so does the Super Overdrive. Um... I'm just going to flip back between the two now off camera and also try this, the overdrive distortion to just rule it out once and for all. And I'll back pivot tube. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a shootout between the mega distortion, the angry driver, uh, next to the Marshall Governor 2 Plus. Now, I already can tell the angry driver and the mega distortion don't sound anything like the Marshall Governor. They just don't. Um. But, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's going to have to be a compromise. They're not the same pedal. They're not going to be the same tone. The Governor, to be honest with you, Peter, I've never played another distortion pedal that sounds like the Marshall Governor 2 Plus. I really haven't. It's just, it's unique to me. I, I love that pedal. Anyway, just going to uh, plug in the overdrive distortion quickly off camera, and I'll be back, and we'll we'll do um, a bit of a shootout between the Mega Distortion Angry Driver against the uh, Marshall Governor. Let's see how it goes. But back in a sec. Okay, oh, people too. Yeah, the uh, people of the tube. I can't speak probably because of this mouth numbness. Anyway, uh, he's starting to tingle and come back now. I can feel it. Anyway, enough about my face. Enough about. Let's go back to pedals. So the OS2 is a no-no for me. It's it's a cool pedal. It's just not not me. It's not the sound I I really want. The distortion's too scooped, the overdrive's too clunky. Uh, the actual overdrive on this reminds me of the original Marshall Bluesbreaker. Um, 
and also the, the distortion sounds like the Shredmaster, but you know, that's me. Anyway, but that's not for me. So let's go to distortion now. So this is the Marshall Governor. <laughs> Sounds insane. That's the tone to, you know, I don't think you're gonna beat that, but this is your angry driver. That's a beastly pedal though. Good gravy lord. So this is this is a lot more a lot more hard I was about to say. I mean that just sounds wrong in every sense of the word, doesn't it? But Governor Angry Driver, it's so skinny. It's such a skinnier sound. I don't know, it just isn't doing it for me. It's a really cool pedal. But it's just not as full. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the governor's so big. But it retains all that kind of, like, top end that you want to cut through in a mix. But, like, it, it's so fat. When you palm you. Angry Driver doesn't have that. That's a bit too fuzz like. Too thin. Too thin. good. The Angry Driver's really good. It's just not there. It's just not there. So I'm going to move on to the Mega Distortion now. Um, I'm plugging it in and see how that goes. So let's change uh, pedals again. I'm going to be a tube. So we've got the Mega Distortion plugged in now. 
So this is the Marshal Governor. <laughs> Mega distortion. <laughs> Definitely got more distortion than the governor. The governor doesn't have a like, great deal of gain, but. <laughs> It sounds effing wicked though, that Mega Distortion does. Um. I really like the mega distortion. It's definitely got more gain than the governor does. Uh, the governor's quite clean in comparison. Ah! Oh! oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, this is the governor again. Mega distortion. To me, the mega distortion seems to be a little bit more barky in the mid range as well. Um, but it just seems to be something a bit more kind of, um, yeah, mid, mid, mid focused. And again, I love my mid range, so it makes me very happy. <laughs> When you hear them next to each other like that, doing stuff like that, you can hear how different they do sound. So, I'm just going to get the levels right. Especially there. When you palm mute single notes, just see how much fatter the governor is. And then the mega distortion. A lot thinner, a lot thinner, but we can probably turn up some of the low end. Yeah, we can. volume out of it as well. <laughs> One thing I love about the Mega Distortion as well is that's just, uh, on the Mega Distortion you've got level, then you've got your tone and the bottom dial, the you know. And then you've got distortion, and then you've got a gain boost dial. At this point in time, I'm not even using the gain boost. The gain boost is all the way off. I'm literally just using distortion, and it sounds ace. <laughs> Send you to Stratosphere. Love it. I really love it. 
love that that pedal. <laughs> Just turning up the tone a little bit on the mega distortion, because as you turn up the low end, the the kind of uh, the high end disappears a bit. <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a minute, Pivot I'm just going down to cab level here. <laughs> That there is going to be a compromise here, like you know, the the governor sounds like the governor, and the mega distortion sounds like the mega distortion. It's got a different mid range. Same as the super overdrive with the the golden plexi, although I feel the super overdrive was very close to the golden plexi. But now I'll have to say, I, I, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a shootout between the two setups. So next thing you're going to hear is the golden plexi and the martial governor. So I'll play a bit of a clean bit on the Golden Plexi first, and then I'll kick in the Governor and to, to bring in Mass Distortion, which is kind of invariably how I run the, the things. Um, and then we'll try it with the Mega Distortion and the Super Overdrive, and uh, I'm going to go and listen and see what I can hear. So, uh, back in a bit, Pooh Tube. So again, Golden Plexi, Marshall Governor first, and then you'll hear the Mega Distortion and the Super Overdrive second. <laughs> Okay, people with tubes. So, um, I've gone back and forward a bit with the uh, the mega distortion. Uh, it's a lot harsher than the governor. When you kick in from clean, dirty clean, there's a lot more white noise around the, the sound. It's um, it's a little bit, you know, the, the the governor just kind of like carries on that thing, but there's this kind of like white noisy kind of sound with the uh, uh, mega distortion, which kind of, it's not the same. Now, does it bother me? Slightly. Um, you probably wouldn't hear it in the context of the band. And in all fairness, I can't actually hear it in the room. That sounds amazing to me. That's the mega distortion. 
Um, one thing I will find, uh, one thing I have found though, is um, it does have a bit of a note clash thing going on. When I have the Super Overdrive on and the Mega Distortion, and I do kind of uh, notes on the bridge pickup. <laughs> It's not a major issue though, because I love it! the mega distortion cleans up as well the super overdrive really love that it's really weird though because they don't quite feel the same they're not going to feel the same they're not the same pedals but um a little bit of an adjustment period and i think i'd be fine with these uh the mega distortion super are great i really like the way they are together they all work the ds2 as well so this is a super overdrive with the ds2 <laughs> It maintains that kind of like really smooth violin y thing. And this is the mega distortion with the DS2. You can really hear the DS2 is kind of like, you know, mid range push when you have the mega distortion. This is all free. <laughs> Benazwar hates the Super Overdrive. It can't control it. Get a volume jump, you see. So you don't get a volume jump with a DS2. This is this is a new one for me, Pioche. I've never had this. So Super Overdrive, DS2, no volume jump, but Super Overdrive, DS2, and Wah. Immense volume jump. God's sake! Okay, um... Mm. Oh, why can't things just work nicely with each other and everything be happy? Uh, what's it like with a mega distortion in the DS2? <laughs> Fine with M2. It's really weird. It's almost like it's like two different signals with the, the with the Ibanez Wah there. Too much of a volume jump. Ha! <sighs> Sometimes, all I need is the air that I breathe. Anyway, um, let me just try something really quick here, Billy Chief. Okay, so that's the mega distortion. Okay, 
Okay, so now we've hired the DS2 on, there's no volume jump. So D uh, Mega Distortion, DS2, I hope it is what? Go back to the Super Overdrive. Git. But he said, I like the sound of a DS2 with the mega distortion turned down like that. The mega distortion sounds pretty good, but doesn't work that way. Oh, why are these pedals such divas? The Ibanez Wah and the DS2 are the biggest diva pedals I've ever known in my existence on this planet Earth. And that's really frustrating because I really like the sound of the SD1. <laughs> I know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. The Super Overdrive doesn't have enough in it to control. It's, it's, not, it's not quite enough compression to control the madness of the, the other. <laughs> you pig. You utter pig. I hate you. Um, I don't really. I love it. But at the same time, it's really annoying. Um... Really odd. Not really odd. It happens. Uh, the like I say, the Ibanez WH10 is an absolute diva. Oh, in relation to this. <laughs> Notice how there's no volume jump there, I've changed everything back, so now that's the Golden Plexi. D golden Plexi DS2. And then the Golden Plexi and the Ibanez Wah. So basically, everything is fine apart from the Ibanez Wah, which just kind of goes... Like, it basically does this. It usually the way it goes. I always find that with either patch leads or the Ibanez Wah. Or the DS2 sometimes. The DS2, I don't think, is as much of a diva as the Ibanez Wah. Anyway, that aside, because I can guarantee it wouldn't do that if I was using my Vox Wah, but my Vox Wah's died, so I can't use that anymore. Sadly, it's just... It's too old and I'll freak. I've been using that I, that Vox Wah since, Lord, I don't remember when, but a long time. Anyway, but these two are my winners. Uh, the Super Overdrive is a great pedal, and the Mega Distortion pedal is a wicked pedal as well. These would be great replacements, and I'd buy a Vox Wah Wah pedal. Um, if, like, you know, uh, and when I need to kind of change out the Governor and the Golden Plexi, just because, like I say, they're not... They're not hard to come by, but they are not easy to come by either. Especially the Mark One Golden Plexi and, and the say the Governor Super, uh, the, uh, Governor Mark Two Plus, Two Plus, whatever it is. But um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a pig that the Ibanez Wah decides to go, you know, and throw a little Benny at me there right at the end. Anyway, piglets aside. Should we plug in that fuzz quick now and make ourselves feel better? I think we should. Okay, like any normal person. I've just turned it all the way up.
wicked fuzz pedal. And it does sound like the FZ. It's, it, you know, they, they, they've got a very distinctive sound, the FZ fuzz pedals, and that's, you know, it's the Wazacraft version, that is. And oh my god, just, just have another... Have, an, have another D. <laughs> That's cheered me up, people with YouTube. That's really cheered me up. Because, wow, what a sound. What a sound. Anyway, people with YouTube, what's your opinions? Um, and what would you do in my opinion, in, in my in my shoes? If you're in my shoes, you know I'll be in my shoes. I've got gross feet. Anyway, um, but yeah, which setup did you prefer? Did you prefer the Governor and the Golden Plexi or did you prefer the Super Overdrive and the Mega Distortion? Let me know in the comment section below. Personally, I love both. If I had to pick, it would be still be the Governor and the Golden Plexi, but that's because that's what I know. Would I go to a gig with these two pedals? Happily! Um, they just sounded mega, like boss pedals do. I mean, you know, I just... I just love them. They just... They're simple, do the job, and that's it. And, you know, and, and that's why I pestered boss to help me do this video. You know, they very, very kindly lent me these pedals, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, but yeah, which one was your favorite, people at you? Again, Jack, uh, Jack Hammer, Golden Plexi, uh, Marshall Governor, or Super Overdrive, Mega Distortion, and why? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd be very curious to read your thoughts on this one. Um, also, can we all just kind of, like, just have a bit of a, an, an, like, a, uh, a big sigh, a, a, a group sigh of the Ibn as Wah being a diva and a DS2 not. You ready? One, two, three. <sighs> anyway, we feel better now, don't we? And the fuzz helped with that one, especially doing that. God, that's amazing. Ah! Oh! Filth. Anyway, uh... Thank you very much indeed for watching, people with the tube. I hope the video was somewhat entertaining and somewhat interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again very soon for another one. If you like the channel and like what I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Link to that in the description box below, as well as links to all my other stuff. Description box below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon for another video. Um, yeah, look, really look forward to reading your comments on this one. See you again. Have a great one. Goodbye now. Oh, a massive thanks to Boss as well. Again, I cannot thank them enough. Thank you, Boss.